Okay. Welcome everyone to another meeting, another Chaos Africa meeting. I just dropped the agenda link. Please add your name and let us know who your favorite Afrobeat singer is. <laughs> oh, Sean, you know we speak. That that's interesting. <laughs> um, I think delight is the first thing. I listen to a lot of music. Yeah, I'm the one fascinating today. It is I'm, I'm finding it difficult to go to the ABT mode of the documents. I'm just wow. so I won't know. Yeah. Okay. Um I think I think it's on edit access. Okay, um, I've gotten it now. Okay. Okay, yeah. good. So yeah, so you can get started. Okay. Welcome everyone to today's meeting. Um, and the first thing in the agenda is setting up focus groups for mini meetings. So the first thing you want to consider is you want to indicate if there is anyone in this call that is not in any of these um, focus groups, chaos aspect of focus groups. Please, if there's anyone, you just need to indicate. You can do that by raising up your hand. Or just feel free to say anything. You are going to get a team. Okay. Let me wait a little bit. Okay. It seems like everyone, it seems like everyone is in the is in each of the focus groups. So these people groups, we have an update from each group. Ruth, I don't know about this. Um, what do you mean by the update? Is it a meeting? Okay. Science? Yeah, I can I can add something on that. So um we over um the start of Chaos Africa, we stay like focus groups and um we a lot of people indicated like different focus groups and we had about five focus groups um, from what people indicated that they are interested in contributing through. So um, over, over two weeks now, we've been having like meetings and trying to, I've been trying to see how people could understand what chaos um, is about and how they could contribute their skill to chaos. And we've also been meeting with like the different, um, the different groups so for designers, um, the designer focus group, the designers focus group, we've been working to um, design the badging, um, DEI badging website. I think Kinsley is on this call. Um, we even worked on the wireframe this morning, my time. So I don't know, Kinsley, are you here? Maybe you want to give like a little bit of updates and also dropping the link to like the Figma stuff um the wireframe you have and maybe you could take a look at it okay good afternoon everyone if you're actually in nigeria but good morning <laughs> it's morning your time but just give me a little time let me uh, get that link please the figma okay. link i'll yeah, drop it on this. yeah we could come back to that so for developers we are kind of like for the developer focus group, um, while Kinsley is trying to like get the link and drop it in the chat for us to assess the Figma, um, their design board for the um chaos badging websites. Um, for the development group, uh, what we've been doing is we are kind of like waiting for the designers um to kind of finish up with designing the website before starting for development. We are going to be um we're going to be building up the websites. Um, so we're kind of like on pause for designers to kind of like do something and then we start. I think, uh, Oma, yeah, I think we, we decided on what to use for the website, right? Like the stack, the programming stack we're going to use. I was thinking of GKill. I don't know if you've heard of GKill to Hmm. But Omar suggested, I think, images and react. Omar. Yeah. Omar, do you want to? Yeah, I suggested um, 
Node.js and React, that's JavaScript framework. But if Jekyll is cool with everybody and we have like developers that can work with it, it's no problem. Yeah, I'm, that was just a suggestion. I can't even work with Jekyll, honestly. I just suggested maybe that was one of the suggestions I thought about this week. But if we have people that, I don't know if we have people that do React um, here, Maybe you could indicate if you want to also participate. I in. think we do. Okay, we do. I think we do. Okay. Um, you can indicate in the chat if you're a React developer or a JavaScript developer in general. Okay, okay. So it seems like Shen said something. He says there's no public access to the Figma um, documents, I think so. Okay. Um, um, can can you give like public access? Okay, okay. Did you drop it in the chat? Let me just um as open it from here to okay. I think Abimbola said um direct developer. Okay, we have media too, so that's great. So for, so I think we can use React then. But for, I'm trying to load up the badging website, so I'll show it from here as well. Okay, Um. I don't know, maybe I, I can share my screen and walk us through because um. Okay. the, uh, yeah, you need to be invited to have, yeah, to even view that link. So I think it's okay. Sorry? Should I stop share then you share? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just gonna be a quick one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can't see your screen. Okay, everyone can see my screen, right? Yep, I think so. I can see it. So, probably everyone. Can. Okay, so, <laughs> um, okay, so um, this is actually the the idea, uh, because what we have um before now or what we have currently is um the badging is being done on GitHub, so. Um, of course, I think Ruth suggested that we create a website, and I kind of I thought that also made a lot of sense because um, why really have to push people to get up to just budge their events and all that, and uh, the fact that a lot of persons are not like for non techies, they are not really used to get up and all that, so they only create account just to budge their events. So. I think I'll look at ways to make this more collaborative so that um, maybe depending on how I created the Figma link so that maybe we all can jump on and probably, you know, drop our comments and all that. But this is just a wireframe of um, the website. It's basically supposed to have a landing page that has an overview of um, the chaos um, DEI badging and just an overview. So as a user, I want to badge my events, the landing page should just give me an overview. Was that supposed to be like, you know? And then of course, frequently asked questions and the badging levels and all that. Then for, for now we have event badging and uh, project badging, but then this is like, you know, in the pipeline, but this is what we have currently active. And this is in progress, you know, just basically um, um, a wireframe. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ruth and I actually had a call. So a um, lot of, the, she made a lot of contributions and all that. But for the designers, yeah, except maybe if you don't have access to this workspace, then maybe you drop your link later. And um, Delight and I think Wolu or something. I don't know if they are both there. So I think they should both have access to you. So you can also make the you know, contributions and all that. 
So I don't know if at the moment, if there's any contribution, any feedback, or maybe any question or anything you want to know, you know, you can ask. And also another thing I would love to say is maybe I'll share documents later on some of the things you'll be needing on the website, you know, and all that regarding the content and all, you know, and a few other stuff. So if there are things you can also contribute to make, you know, the workflow, you know, seamless and all, um, the design team will really appreciate. So thank you. I don't know if you have questions or contributions. This is a wireframe. We've seen we'll be seeing a lot more of the colors and designs and all that much later. So it's just like a framework. Yeah, thank you, Pinsy. So I don't know, does anyone have any questions or like contribution to this at the moment? Well the wireframe for now. So thank you, Kinsley, for uh, Sorry, break. Delight, you said something. Yeah, that's a great one, Kinsley. I think oh, that thank most you. people will be looking to it later. Maybe the feedbacks, yeah, getting, I like, get, you might get it from others later when they're done looking into it. Okay, okay. But you know, you have access to the file, right? I think I you and I don't know yesterday. Yeah, I saw it yesterday. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you to the person taking notes too. Um, okay, so for the community management group, um, the focus group for the community managers, what we have been trying to do is um, you know, work on like strategy, mapping out strategy and um, a calendar for Chaos Africa, and I, I have been trying to do that here. I don't know if you can see my screen. These are just templates. I've not put anything here. So I've been putting out templates for um, a calendar, um, also like a strategy board, a calendar board, um, a strategy board, and, you know, objectives, um, OKR, and how would, you know, constantly... Um, checking quarterly for for mapping out like our progress and all that stuff so th that's what the community manager focus group has been working on then for for um the research um technical writers and research i know um homer has been working on um you know um a kind of like a wiki for DEI badging, which I have been trying to contribute on as well. Um, a wiki that would, because one thing I think people, like when people, new contributors come in, explaining DEI badging sometimes can be, uh, can be confusing. So um, I think Uoma um, and Delights, I think has been working on like a wiki, um, a DEI badging wiki. I met with Matt, um, Matt Kansu yesterday to kind of get some information about um I'm trying to share uh Omar can you send the link of that doc to the chat so I'll just show it that as well okay okay I'll do it now Okay, yeah, I actually did have that stock open, open. I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is it. Sorry, I, I know I did have it open. So this is the link to it. We are still building it up. Um, um, this is just trying to explain what DI badging is and, you know, how people could, new contributors can kind of like understand what um, DEI badging is. So we are building up this document, like a wiki. I think we can put it in GitHub wiki um, on the GitHub um, repository or something. Um, we can have it there. Initially, I, I thought it would be a blog post, but I think it makes more sense as a wiki, like a wiki page. I think there's this GitHub. GitHub allows you to do like a wiki page, so we can have it as a wiki page. So I don't know if anybody has thoughts on that.
Mm. Yeah, actually, I think that's a great idea. It's okay with me. Okay, Omar, what do you think about the wiki, like making a GitHub wiki page on the budget repo? So we can always point. Yeah, that's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. And when we do the budget website, there'll be a connection so that even applicants can easily read what budget is about. So I think that's a good one. Okay. Does there any other comment on it? Okay, I guess that's none. Um, but for the meantime, anyone that wants to, I don't know if we, I didn't, I don't have access to transcript this, but we have this conversation here. Maybe somebody wants to listen and jot down some points because Matt kind of like explained the history of DEI badging. So if anyone wants to do this, you can respond here. Let me add the link to this on the meeting minutes. Um, okay. Um, so for the research team, we are not really, for the research team, we've not really worked on anything yet. Um, we are still trying to get in um, the info about challenges that Africans face with that tweet we sent out. Um, that was, I think that was um, some weeks back, um, these tweets. We are still trying to um, get people to respond to these tweets. And so we've not really been working on anything. So you can amplify this tweet on your end so people can you know, vote, um, talk about what their challenges are for the meantime. So yeah, I think that's it on the focus group updates. So delight you can. Thank you so much, Mr. that. So the next we have in our agenda is the meeting icebreaker, icebreaker question. Um, I think Woods is still going yeah. to respond. <laughs> yeah, it's still going to me. So um, so I'm talking about this question. So sometimes it's really hard coming up with this question. So I was going to say if maybe somebody wanted to start a document and put in a lot of those questions there, like questions we could ask during the meetings so that we can pick from there. And I don't have to think a lot. <laughs> Maybe somebody wants to do this, like questions like, like this. Sorry, I'm not sure I go. Um, what you said. Yeah, so um, usually um, when I build up the agenda, I, agenda, I put like these questions, these um, questions, like mm. the last one we had was, do you sleep with the light on and on or off so we could have if does anybody want to build up a doc that has these questions just listed there and we just pick from them and paste oh. here yeah I'll do that. <clears throat> sorry who i don't, I don't know lami. lami okay thank you lami uh, yeah, delight you can. Okay, that's nice. We're going over to the next one, connecting with Africa open source community. And Ruth, you, we discussed a little bit about this last week about the OSX thing, so. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, I don't know if Anita is on the call. Yeah, um, right here. Okay. Yes, so last, the last time we talked about this, I I decided to reach out to some community leads from other um, open source communities in Africa outside Nigeria, and I was able to reach out to about four different community leads. I reached out to um, OSS um, OSCA community lead from Kenya, and then I reached out to. Um, 
someone from Nairobi as well. And um, someone from South Africa was also on the list. And um, yes, so far those persons gave promising feedback. And although they are not able to turn up for the meeting today because there are reasons where it's clashing with their availability, but they said they'll definitely jump into our, disc, um, our Slack channel and follow up with this thing. So my thought was we take um, chaos to them, that's take chaos to their communities, their respective communities, and um, pitch what we are doing here and how their inputs to this community will definitely be useful as well. Okay. Oh, that really is a nice um, contribution. Thank you, Anita, for that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Anita. Sorry, I was just jotting down the notes. So yeah, same here. Um, I think someone. Um, I think yeah. Thank you, Anita. Like. Um, for my end, I also like reached out to someone. I was able to talk with someone in um someone in Cameroon that told me about this community. Like they have like this um open source community in Cameroon. So um for that on, I would reach out to them and try to see how you know they can they can talk about the challenges that they face because I'm picking back to what chaos africa aims to do is like uh you know try to solve the challenges that african open source contributors face so that's why we we have been you know reaching out to different other african uh communities as well so that we get their feedback and we present them to so thank you anita for doing that and i i really hope they are able to join in and we work together with with them um i'll keep an eye out for when they join in too so that we could uh, we could um talk more on it and understand their challenges i think i'm meeting with someone on friday to tomorrow about same thing so yeah thank you anita yeah that's really great it you and anita you're doing a great job I, I don't know if anyone has any other inputs before, like maybe. Okay. Does anyone have any inputs? Seems they won't have anything to say. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next agenda, and that is the next one. And that is the Twitter space coming up. And it's think Roots gave the date, 18th of August. Am I right, Roots? Yeah, um, yeah, the date is 18th of August. 6 p.m. Yeah, like and, 6 p.m. West African time. Let me add that there too. Okay. So is it is it only for um Africans, right? No, everyone can join. It's like a Twitter space, like it's an event. So um, but the topic is like we're trying to find like you know, um the speakers are Samson, Adar, Bolaji, and Mesraime um from Ghana. Um, the other three speakers are here, like they're from Nigeria, but the other one is from Ghana. I'm also trying to maybe um some of the folks that Anita reached out to if they'll be interested to speak on this space as well. But the space is going to kind of because they have been in the space, like in the open source space, these speakers have been in open source space for quite a long time. So they they would um you know have a lot of um impute as to how what challenges that African open source contributors face. Um so that's what the space is going to be about. So everyone can anyone can join in and learn from the conversation and also contribute to the conversation as well. Um we'll be hosting the space with the Twitter, the Twitter um profile, like the Chaos Africa Twitter. So 
that can also get more people to um, get to know what Chaos Africa is doing as well. So yeah, the, the thing we'll be needing is something like a flyer design. Um, I think that there's nothing yet for that. So maybe someone um, else. That's really nice. um, so would anyone like to make a flyer design or like to make a flyer for the events? Um, I can work on that. Okay, that's going to be right. Yeah. No. Okay. Thank you so much, Kinsley, for that. Um. Okay. So I think. Yeah. Thank you, Kinsley. I would give you more. Like probably give you more updates later on Slack on the what we need for the flyer design. Okay. Um so the last for the agenda um is the question or the other things to talk about. So do anyone have questions or do you have other things do you think we need to talk about or look into in any of the focus group? Excuse me, I have a question. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, so concerning the doc, um, Ruth asked someone to create concerning icebreakers. It thought just came to my head that do we have like a public folder <laughs> that we are um, creating all of these files in so that um, I need any information, it's that particular folder and that um, all our files are not sitting in different yes, um, repos, yes. if you know what I mean. Yes, there's a folder. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong thing. So I'm trying to find that folder. There is a drive. I have, um, I can't really share like full access to the drive, but there's, I can share access to the folder. We have a folder here, um, here. So every, I think every, almost everything is here. Like we have um, a folder that's here. So I can create the doc on my end and share it, like share access, edit access to the folks that want to do that. Um, okay. Does that answer your question? Um, yes, it does. Okay, great. Thank you for asking that. I, I presume you want to also contribute to the icebreaker questions. Maybe you want to ask <laughs> Yeah, I could so come up with something. These are the Inca, right? Yes, yeah, yes, that's that's me. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, okay. Um, so I also wanted to add something. Um, I know Sean is is running like Augur mentoring sessions on Saturdays. Sean, is it this week? It's coming up or next week? Next, next week, I believe, is the next one. Let me double okay. check. Yep, next week is the next one. Okay, so, so that, would, we... that would be August 6th. So if you want to, um, like, John is running like Chaos Software tutoring. Um, this would be more of interest to Chaos developer focus group, like the people that are in the developer focus group. So if you want to add that meeting to your calendar, just go to chaos.community. If you click on participate, you can scroll down to the um to the calendar and then you it happens bi-weekly, I think, or um yeah the next one yeah it's, is... it's every other week okay okay yeah yep. so you can click on this and copy to your calendar that's the um title of the meeting chaos software tutoring and hacking um uh, yeah so you could copy to your calendar here click on it it just copies to your calendar and you make it bi-weekly you just make it custom bi-weekly and it shows up in your calendar so if you want to attend that, please um, 
especially for the developer focus group, you should attend it. So the next one is next week, um, August 6th. I'll also drop like a, a reminder on the channel um, as well. So folks don't and forget. I think, and I think Elizabeth's gonna be tweeting it and promoting it a little bit more. Okay. Okay, that's great then. Okay. Um, I think one other thing is we do not have a facilitator for thank you delight for facilitating today. Totally appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I should have asked the question before starting. So we'll be facilitating. That's fine. Okay. Does anyone want to facilitate next week? It's always exciting to facilitate. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I don't know who's speaking. Who's the person that I, I can't see? Anita, Anita. Myself. <laughs> okay, Anita is facilitating next week. Thank you, Anita. So, does, is there any questions or any confusions or anything you want to run by? We still have a lot of time. Okay, there was this document you shared that time um, that had some information on badgering and I don't know, can you share the link, please? Okay, yeah, this one, the one we want, we are still building this up though. So just so okay. you know, still progress, but this is the link, it's right here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the, the, the badging wiki, so you can check the link, but it's still in progress. Yeah. That's the opinion of building complete. Okay. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions? You still have like a lot of time soon. Not like we can't take it back, but yeah, please, if you have any questions or anything, any topic you want to run over, we'll talk about. Okay, I think that's a that's a wrap then. Um, thank you everyone for you know joining this meeting again. And the meeting is recorded, and it's usually um it's usually um. Oh, it's so, it seems someone have a question. Checking okay. the chat. Okay. There's a deadline for the badging website. I think is the question. Okay, the deadline for the badging, there's really no deadline yet. Um, we, we are just, you know, there's no deadline. Is, is the person asking to participate? Yeah. Okay, if you want to participate, I don't know what's wrong with my Zoom, it's not going back. But yeah, if you want to participate, um, you can, you know, indicate or message me on the chaos slack and we'll let you know what different tasks are like and where you can fit into. Okay, so is there like any, did I answer your question? Okay, I think you said yes. Okay, great. Um, Thank so I, I think that's all. Is there any other question? But if that's all, no problem. We can end the meeting here. Okay. Okay. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye. Yeah, so just end it up here. Bye, Bye. See you next time.